Hello everybody, Jamie back with another episode on the Board Game Man channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, this game has different versions to it. Uh, this is from 2007 from Ravensburger. It's called Labyrinth. And what I love about this cover, that dragon in the middle with the maze, totally reminds me of the Atari 2600 game Adventure, which I was a huge fan of when I was a kid. Absolutely loved that game. So I see that and it instantly reminds me of Adventure. Uh, but anyhow, let's go on to the gamer's table and I'll show you how to play. Okay, welcome to the gamer's table. Here is the game board. And you'll see that the pieces with the items on it are actually already glued onto the board, which is actually pretty darn cool. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have all these different pieces that come out of the box here. And like I said, each version is different. So each version is completely different with what you get. I've noticed that. And what you're going to do is you're going to put each one of these pieces on the board where all the yellow arrows are. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and throw those on there. And then I'll get back right back to you. Okay, so after you put all the pieces on the board, this is what it'll look like. You put all the, you fill in all the blank areas. And like I said, all the ones that do not have yellow arrows, those are actually glued on the board. So you'd actually plug in all the different pile. There is no order, no nothing all. You just throw them in there. And you'll always have one piece remaining. And this is the piece you're gonna use to push the pieces where the yellow arrows are. Only the yellow arrows are the ones that are loose. So you're gonna use one piece at all times. So you'll always have an extra piece. These are the four playing pieces, which I'll show you right here, which I thought were pretty awesome. Let me see if I can get these on my hand right. So you got like a purple, green, yellow, and oops, and red. Okay, these are the playing pieces. Pretty cool. And let's see, I'll be the purple, and then we'll throw green out there. We'll put them in there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in their home colored spots. So you'll see the little, the purple, there's for red, there's for yellow, and here's for green. So that's where you're gonna start. Now here are the little playing cards that come with the game. Each of these showing an item that is on the board. So for instance, the bat, you got the bat here, and then you got the, looks like a blue and yellow lizard, which appears to be, you know what? I don't see the lizard. Where is that gecko? Oh, here he is there, couldn't find, couldn't find him. But anyway, what you'll do is you'll shuffle these cards up, like so, you're gonna shuffle them up, and then you would um, distribute these evenly to every player. So what you'll do is uh, you just kind of I'll just I'll just do I'll just do three each just to kind of get something going here. But in actuality, what you'll do is you'll you'll like if there I don't I didn't count how many cards there were, um, but say there's like thirty of them, you would go 15, 15. So you would distribute every single card, and uh, and so on. So what I'll do is I'll put those back in there. So what you're gonna do is that all I'm supposed to look at is the top card. I don't look at any other cards in my deck, only the top card. And I'm only going to be the one looking at it. The other players do not see what you're looking at. So here's my first card here. This is where I'm going to try to make a path to. And as soon as I land on this, I'll be able to, to keep the card. The object of the game is you're trying to go through all your cards. So if I had, like normally I would have probably give or take about 15 of these. The first person to go through all of their cards and landing on those spots wins the game. So this is the one I'm going to be going for. So... I keep that I keep that a secret to myself, and I'm going to move a tile that's going to help me to try to make a path to her. Now, I'll, boy, I got lucky here. She's actually just right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this piece and I'm going to move it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it just one spot. That's all you do. You don't do multiple spaces, just the one. You'll take this out, the, the piece that came off the board, and you give to the other player. Now, this is, if you want to, you can move your token anywhere you want at that time. So you can actually move it if you can move it. So in this case, I'm just going to stay where I'm at because I don't have a path to her yet. So that'll be my turn has ended. Now, the green is going to look at their card, and they're going to see they're going after the ring. Okay, so he's secretly going to go for the ring. So he's going to look and see where... Oh, geez. Hello. <laughs> it's right there. So what he's probably going to do is he's just going to go, okay, well, because you still have to, to play the, the piece. So what he can do um, is just go like this. He's going to push it this way. 
So all the pushes will, all the pieces will be pushed this way. He takes this piece out, gives it to the next player, and he goes, da, 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 bing, bing. there he goes. That was an easy one. So the ring goes to player two. So player two dis discards that card. And on his next turn, he's going to look to see what he's going for next. So now it's my turn. I'm still going after the wizard lady here, whatever you want to call her. And so I have this piece here. So let's see what will help me to get there. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this piece and slide it this way. All right. So this is the dragon comes off. That goes to the next player. I'm just going to move to here. Now, one thing you cannot do is say I go, as I say, I get this piece and I push it through this way. Okay. The next player cannot go back and do it the other way. So you can't go back to back like that. You can't one player go this way and the other player go this way. You can't do that. Say, because what happens is if you have a playing piece here, say the playing piece is here, okay? And what happens is if I go like this and push the player off, all what happens to the player is you go to the other side where you came out of. So you'll be on the other side, just as if it went and just kind of continues this way. So that's what happens if you push a player off and he just kind of moves over here, okay? But the next player can't go, hey, hey I want to be back over here again, and go back like this, and then go over here. That you cannot do. So that is an illegal move. So you, you are not allowed to do that. Alrighty. So we'll just do a little bit more here. So the green player is, is waiting to see what card he is going to see next. Ooh, looks like a little treasure chest. So this is the next piece he's going to go for. So let's... Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. The player got, got it easy here. Okay, so what we're going to do is he's going to... Let's see how we're going to do this. Because it looks like neither one of these pieces are really going to help him connect. Yeah. But he's going to probably try to get this over here and then we'll get it. So he's going to push it this way. So he's going to go ahead and push this this way. Okay. And he's going to take this piece, give it to me. And if he wants to move anywhere, he can. So if he wants to, he can move this way as far as the path will allow him to. He can do that if he wants to. Or he can just wait where he's at because he can't really go anywhere else there. And his term is over. So now I'm going to look. I'm still going after the wizard lady here. Okay, I, forgot, I almost forgot about that. It's been so long here. Um, Jeez Louise. I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, see, I can't do this here because <laughs> there's no yellow arrow that's glued on there. I was going to go, okay, yay! Um, let me see what we can do. I'm actually kind of stuck right here. I can't really... Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just... Gotta try to get a pathway going. So I'm gonna do this. I take this, it goes to the second player. I'm gonna move to right here. Now Green's gonna look. Remember, he's going after the treasure chest. So he's gonna go ahead and take this piece and push it this way. There we go. This piece comes off, and just like that, ding, 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 he gets the second card. The treasure chest is complete. So now he's gotten two, and while well, I'm still sitting there trying to get one. So that's pretty much how the game goes. You go back and forth, you move one piece at a time. Um, the only illegal move is you can't go back and forth like that. If your player comes off, you just come, off, come back on on the other side. And just like that, as soon as you're... Uh, the first person to go through all of their cards and also after you go through all of your cards you must maneuver back to your home spot so the first person to go through all of their cards and then make their way back to their home spot wins the game and there you have it labyrinth by ravensburger i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did click on the like button down below subscribe to the channel that way you're notified of any future episodes and until next time, happy gaming!